Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we'll learn how to play Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. So this is uh, in standard tuning. Um, when you see him play this live, he literally, uh, he very rarely does it in the same key. He's just, he has so many different arrangements of this. Uh, probably because it's mostly an electronic based song. Um, so what I've done is that little keyboard part at the beginning of the song, I've arranged it for a guitar. A little tricky. Um, I'm doing it some finger style as well. Um, so I'll kind of show you how I'm doing that. And then we have just a basic chord progression that really goes on for the entire track. And sometimes I'll actually bring in uh, an actual acoustic guitar in the mix, um, especially in the more um, dynamically loud sections, and uh, including plus towards the end, he kind of combines everything that he's been doing in the song. So we're going to learn that as well. Uh, so you can just kind of go back and forth between the parts. Uh, whatever you think it's appropriate, really. It's more of an arrangement than uh, a kind of a note for note thing because there's not a lot of guitar on the track. And there's some little overdubs that I'm not going to do, like the little guitar melody. I'm really kind of focused on one, what one guitar would do. So let's take a look here at this little intro that also goes for most of the song. So I'll show you how I'm doing that. First, let's take a look at the notes here on the left hand. We have the 11th fret on the D. And then the octave of that note at the ninth fret on the high E string. Then what I'm going to do here, play the 12th fret on the high E, then back down to that ninth. Now I'll show you the exact thing I'm doing in the right hand in a second, but for right now what I'm doing in the right hand is I'm picking the bottom note with my thumb always, and then on the top note I'm going to start here with my middle finger. And from there, I'm always going to be alternating between the middle finger and the index finger at all times. So we have middle finger, then the index finger on that 12th fret there on the high E, and then back down to the 9, I'm playing my middle finger again. So M, middle, index, middle. All right, so now let me show you a little bit about the rhythm and how I'm going to be playing these notes. So each bass note is hit three times in a very staccato thing, and so is the melody is very staccato as well, meaning that you immediately kill the sound of the note. So we're going to do that by always preparing the next note that we're going to play. So we have the 11th fret there on the with our thumb, and then the 9th fret on the high E. So as soon as I pick those notes, I'm going to bring the thumb back down onto that string so I can kill the sound. And the next finger that we're going to pick here, which is my index finger, is going to come down the high E string. So we have this. So it's a really good exercise to kind of prepare your fingers. Then when I play the next note, the 12th fret on the high E with the index and the thumb again, I'm once again going to pick those two notes and then kill the D string with the thumb and come back down with my middle finger that I'm getting ready to use when I go back down to the 9. So we have this. So that recreates the sound of that staccato feel really well. And now we can just change the root notes and we're going to uh, pretty much get through the part pretty quick because the melody note stays the same a lot. So we have now, I'm going to do a bar across five strings at the ninth fret. So I still have that, the melody note is still going to be 9, 12, 9 on the high E string. But this time the root note, instead of being the 11th on the D, it's at the ninth on the A. So you have to do a bar in order to get that 9 on the A. But then the picking is now going to be, since we did middle, index, middle, it's now going to be index, middle, index. So it's just kind of, they're just... rotating between those two fingers. It's a really nice exercise. All right. Then we're going to still do the same three notes on top, but this time the but the root note is at the 12th fret there on the A string. So we have this so far. So we're doing the same three notes on top, just always with a different bass note. Now we're going to change the melody on top. The bass note, by the way, is going to be here at the 9th fret on the D. So you're going to have to do a bar across the top four strings. And then the melody is going to be 11 on the high E to 9, which you're taking care of with the bar, to 12 on the B string. 
All right, and then we put all that together. Alright, now there's certain parts where he'll just kind of stop, like right there or something, so you'll know if you know the song where to stop. So it's a great exercise, it's a little bit challenging, but um, once you get it down, it'll really help you with uh, kind of preparing your fingers accurately. And you can get into that rhythm. And the great thing is you can keep doing it because it keeps doing it in the song. Now, we have one part, we're not doing that, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, that kind of part. And then towards the end, they're pretty much just doing this. It's a C sharp minor chord up here. So it's a full bar at the ninth. Let me play the part real quick. So you can just kind of no strict pattern, we don't have a pick here. So um, we're just gonna do the bar at the ninth fret there, and then you're gonna play the 11th on the A and 11th on the D. And then do the same chord at the second fret. Kind of hang out by the lower strings, really. Now, you see what I'm doing? Kind of releasing the pressure, giving them more of that staccato feel, and you gotta do it by releasing the bar. Just, the fingers don't have to leave the strings though. Then move it up to an A major chord. So that's just up at the fifth fret now, the same shape, but you're gonna add the sixth fret there on the G string. Same kind of rhythm, and then up to the seventh. To a B major. So we have this all together, four chords. I'm sorry, wrong chord. bring this in during the chorus. And then go back to this for the verse. All right, so it's a, it's a fun one to play, but it can be a little bit challenging because of, we're trying to take a keyboard part and play it on acoustic guitar with like kind of kind of precise, mute, uh, planted finger style technique. So, uh, but I think it'd be a great exercise uh, for your picking hand if you have trouble with that kind of thing. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.